Hey, what's happening guys, it's Nagpal for iGen.in. Today we're gonna to be quickly comparing the Motorola Moto G with the Xiaomi Mi3. So let's go ahead and take a look. Now the Motorola Moto G broke all sales record when it came on Flipkart and the same is expected from its rival, the Xiaomi Mi3. In fact, the Xiaomi Mi3 is gonna take on a lot of devices in the market because of the fact that it runs Snapdragon 800 and is available for 13,999 rupees. So let's go ahead and talk about the overall look and feel of the devices and then we'll uh, basically run through the specifications and do a comparison for you guys. Now the Xiaomi Mi3 comes as a solid unibody product. It looks fantastic, the build quality is phenomenal and the overall look and feel of the device is great. The Moto G comes with replaceable back panels. Again, the build quality is fantastic, one of the best in this price bracket so far. And uh, the fact that Flipkart services it, you get a uh, great uh, amount of uh, colors for the back panels. You can really customize this product and make it your own. If we talk about the specifications, on the front of Xiaomi Mi 3 is a 5 inch 1920 by 1080 p display, which basically puts to rest the Moto G's 720p display, which is at 4.5 inches. You also get an IPS Retina display or a IPS display manufactured by Sharp or LG for the Mi 3. Uh, whereas uh, you get unknown manufacturers for the Motorola Moto G. On the inside of the Xiaomi Mi 3 is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 chipset, which is a quad-core chipset. You also get Adreno 330 GPU. Whereas on the Moto G, for the same price bracket, you get quite a different set of specifications. In fact, you get a Qualcomm Snapdragon chipset, which is fair, but in this scenario, in the Moto G, the Qualcomm chipset is actually a much lower Qualcomm Snapdragon 400 uh, with the Adreno 305 GPU, which is gonna be a big disappointment for those who bought it and could not hold on for the Mi 3. In terms of RAM as well, the device comes with two gigabyte of RAM, whereas uh, the Moto G comes with a single gigabyte of RAM. You also get storage on this guy up to 16 gigabyte, which is identical to the Moto G. Moto G gets 16 gigabyte as well. What's interesting as well in the Xiaomi Mi 3 is the 3050 milliamp hour battery, uh, whereas the Moto G gets a 2070 milliamp hour battery. Moto G's battery life is pretty good, but we are yet to test out the Mi 3's battery life, which is known to be pretty impressive as well. On the back of the Xiaomi Mi 3 is a 13 megapixel f2.2 lens camera, which is also a wide angle lens camera at 28 mm, and it has dual LED flash. 1080p video recording capabilities. The Moto G dwarfed here again with its five megapixel uh, autofocus camera with only 720p video recording and no fancy lens structure in this. Whereas uh, Xiaomi has put in a stacked CMOS sensor, has a five element lens, the works in this price bracket. It's truly going to be a game changer. Now here's where uh, is gonna be a basic difference of opinion. Uh, the Xiaomi Mi 3 comes with Android uh, 4.4.2, which has been customized with Mi UI version 5, uh, which is slightly different or it's going to be completely different from what you see on the Motorola Moto G, which is almost a stock Android interface with a couple of things that Motorola has added on there. Motorola will also be fast enough to give you updates. It comes with KitKat out of the box nowadays and it will also possibly get Android L almost immediately after it is available officially, whereas MIUI may not get Android L soon enough because there is no real confirmation even though the hardware is more than capable of supporting it. MIUI is also different in terms of the overall look and feel. The device is impressively snappy. Uh, you do get an iOS sort of uh, launcher. You can customize this. You can also replace it and add your own launchers. You get full access to uh, the Play Store as well. So no worries in terms of uh, the user interface. You can customize it to look like anything else. Even HTC Sense if you want on there can be added on. Uh, however, uh, it will not give you uh, the same sort of performance that you might get from MIUI. The Mi 3 is also 8.1 millimeter in terms of thickness, uh, whereas the Moto G is a hefty guy at 11.6 millimeters. The weight on the Moto G is 140 grams, whereas the Mi 3 comes at 145 grams. The look, the feel, and the specifications of uh, the Mi 3 definitely put it a step above the Moto G. And if you were in the market for the Moto G, you might want to hold on and get the Mi 3 instead because uh, honestly guys, this is going to be one of the best products that you can get in the market today. This has been Bharat Nagpal for iGan.in. Give this video a thumbs up if this helped you out. 
Be sure to subscribe to us on iGAN and make sure uh, you visit iGAN.in for your daily tech dose. Visit us on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and I'll see you guys in the next one.